A fence made of solar panels. That's how you can describe the innovative solar power station with vertical monitors from the German company Next to Sun. This arrangement was chosen for a reason. Test trials have shown that the vertical installation of modules and their orientation to the east and west allows for the generation of 10% more electricity than a regular solar power station, using one-sided modules with their orientation to the south. Farmers in particular will appreciate the novelty as constructions with vertical installation occupy only 1% of the plot area. The distance between rows is at least 26 feet. This allows for comfortable use of agricultural machinery without the fear of damaging expensive solar panels. Ground modules will also be an excellent alternative for companies whose building roofs do not allow for the placement of classic solar power station structures. Owner of a Tesla Model Y, Omid Sejpour, built his own solar roof instead of waiting for Elon Musk's promised one. According to the inventor, such a mini power station allows him to drive an additional 20 miles per day on a single charge. As for the construction itself, it consists of a wooden frame, telescopic tubes, and nine folding solar panels. The total weight of the installation is 165 pounds, and its dimensions do not exceed the size of a standard parking space. During parking, the panels unfold and generate electricity, which charges the car's batteries. When the owner needs to move further, the entire structure is easily assembled in less than one minute, and when folded, resembles a regular roof rack on the car's roof. At the moment, the engineer is working on creating an improved version of his invention. The fleet of Arabian law enforcement officers has been replenished with the world's first police electric car, Lucid Air, which has a drone launch pad on the roof. The electric car received a signature exterior and a flashing light on the roof, which also serves as a parking space for the drone. The drone is activated from the cabin using a special button, and after its flight, it returns back to its place. The exact specifications of the car are still unknown. However, it can be assumed that for police work, they decided to use the top-of-the-line Lucid Air in the Sapphire modification, which is capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds and has a maximum speed of 205 miles per hour. Even a small lithium battery can explode with such force that it can blow out windows in the room. Moreover, extinguishing it after an explosion is very difficult. Recently, scientists have created and tested an innovative lithium battery that extinguishes itself in case of a fire. This became possible by replacing the standard flammable electrolytes with a non-flammable heat transfer fluid which, in its composition, resembles a substance from a fire extinguisher. Such a filler not only has the property of self-extinguishing, but also the ability to shoot outwards and extinguish other battery elements, in case of a short circuit. During tests, it was found that such batteries refused to ignite and explode even when nails were driven into them. Moreover, they hold charge better than their classical counterparts. Boston Dynamics demonstrated the possibility of using its Atlas robot for commercial purposes. During the tests, the Android had to unpack car struts from a box onto shelves. The task was completed excellently. The robot skillfully pulled heavy car struts out of a container lying on the floor with one hand. Then it picked up the load with the other hand and carried it to a vertical rack where it neatly placed the auto part on the shelf in one of the compartments. It is expected that the robot will soon cease to be exclusively a research project and will find work in production. Solar X1 from Xsun is a unique autonomous UAV with a tandem wing that operates solely on solar energy. In appearance, the device resembles a dragonfly 
and like the insect, has excellent aerodynamic characteristics. The main feature of the drone is the solar panels located all over the surface of the wings, which allow it to collect the most solar energy possible. The UAV's range is 372 miles or 12 hours of non-stop flight. In addition, the device is equipped with advanced technological solutions, including the latest high-performance camera which provides image resolution accuracy up to 0.4 inches. Such characteristics allow the drone to be used for mapping and topography of large areas, including for military purposes. The German Leopard 2A7 tank has passed the first stage of testing the Active Protection System APS Trophy from the Israeli company Raphael Advanced Defense Systems. During the tests, the APS repelled over 90% of incoming projectiles and was able to detect the shooter's location. As for the overall characteristics of the system, it is capable of providing effective 360-degree protection if fully compatible with the vehicle. Various types of small and large caliber projectiles are used as countermeasures, which intercept enemy projectiles even before they reach the protected object. It's interesting that such a system effectively operates in various climatic conditions and on any terrain, be it forest, city, or plain. American startup Colonel has released a revolutionary helmet called Colonel Flow, which scans people's brains and allows to understand what's going on in their heads. The device consists of multiple modules and two lasers that emit light of different wavelengths directed towards the brain. Special detectors capture the light reflected from the brain and the system analyzes the time it takes for the light to travel to the brain and back. Based on this data, scientists can recognize people's emotions at any given moment, as well as monitor the effects of various medical drugs. Thus, in the future, doctors will be able, for example, to remotely monitor patients' intake of psychotropic drugs and track changes in their brain activity. Two electric vehicles in one. That's how you can describe the new S32 concept from the Indian company Surge Automobiles. This vehicle combines an electric rickshaw and a scooter. Moreover, the full transformation from one to the other takes no more than three seconds. The electric vehicle has all-wheel drive and two independent electric motors. The first one propels the vehicle's rear wheels in rickshaw mode. The second one is located directly in the scooter and starts working when the scooter is detached from the cart. In rickshaw mode, the vehicle can reach a maximum speed of up to 27 miles per hour, while the electric scooter can accelerate up to 37 miles per hour. Depending on the modification, the transformer can carry both cargo and passengers. Engineers from Italy and France have developed a robot called Philobot, which has the ability to grow in length. This became possible thanks to the built-in 3D printer and a spool of PLA plastic inside the device, which the robot uses to print its own body when needed. Like a vine, the mechanical worm can move towards a light source and wrap around surrounding objects for additional support. According to the developers, the robot may be used for environmental monitoring tasks in the future, including in hazardous conditions for humans. Zylab, a company specializing in cloud platforms, has developed the Zytruck, a space-themed mobile home with futuristic design and unique capabilities. Its main mission is to deliver humanitarian aid to African nations. The truck is inspired by the military Mancat 6x6 vehicle, with its design modified to look space-like. The pilot cabin tilts forward, similar to a Lamborghini. It is controlled by a U-shaped steering wheel and equipped with two 22-inch touchscreens connected to four cameras for all-around visibility. The cabin accommodates five people. 
The maximum speed is 55 miles per hour. During parking, the sidewalls of the box lift up to form a canopy, making it convenient for unloading. Once inside, there are 17 gallons of fresh water storage and a 55-inch TV. It is powered by 125-watt solar panels. The space truck has been used twice by the Ayub Organization for Humanitarian Expeditions. To protect road sections undergoing construction or repairs, the shock-absorbing cushion Absorb-M has been created. It absorbs impacts, protecting workers. It is easy to install without the need for lifting equipment, unlike traditional concrete barriers. This reduces deployment and folding time. The construction is based on hollow plastic blocks. They are lined up and fastened with straps before water is poured inside the blocks, giving them weight and serving as an impact energy absorber. If one modular element is damaged, it can easily be replaced with another. The block width is only 24 inches, making it the most compact option. Scientists from the National University of Singapore have developed an innovative device called iSee, which helps blind people recognize small items and read. iSee is a bone conduction headset. It has a built-in camera, touch-sensitive control panel, processor, and lithium battery. They connect to the internet via mobile networks without needing to pair with a smartphone. When the user picks up an object, the camera captures the image and text, processes it, and a synthetic voice announces what it is, reading out the labels. The unique feature these headsets possess is their natural look, unlike smart glasses, and they do not block the blind person's ears from other sounds. The Japanese corporation Nissan has introduced the popular X-Trail crossover in the Mountain Rescue Edition. The novelty's feature is the presence of tracks with rubber treads instead of wheels. The main purpose of it is to conduct rescue operations in snowy mountains on ski or hiking trails. To install the tracks, it was necessary to significantly widen the arches and increase the ground clearance by 10 inches. Changes have also been made inside the car. The rear seats have been removed to make room for stretchers with wheels, which can be used to transport injured skiers. The Expedition Roof Rack allows you to take necessary rescue equipment, shovels, and sportable lightweight stretchers. Powerful searchlights for search operations in the dark are located at the front of the roof rack. Minesto has succeeded in creating and deploying an underwater kite called Dragon 12, capable of generating 1.2 megawatts of electricity. The equipment uses the energy of tides and currents in the sea. It is called an underwater kite because visually it resembles a kite. Four wing-shaped foils ensure the structure remains submerged to prevent it from surfacing. Electricity generation is achieved through hydrodynamics using a turbine with direct drive and permanent magnets. The underwater kite weighs 28 tons and measures 470 by 470 inches. It is held in place underwater by a tether attached to the seabed. It moves along an H-shaped trajectory, maximizing tidal energy utilization. Voltage is transmitted via cable to the shore. This is the world's first marine installation generating over 1 megawatt of power. In terms of cost and size, the underwater station is cheaper and smaller than wind turbines. Taking biology as a model, Festo has created the octopus gripper robot with a mechanized arm resembling an octopus tentacle. The flexible arm is made of silicone with two rows of suction cups on the bottom and a conical shape, perfectly mimicking the soft grip of a living creature. It securely holds objects using vacuum for reliable fixation. When compressed air is applied through the tentacle system, it wraps around the object and holds it firmly without causing damage, unlike rigid grips. 
The tentacle can grasp various objects, round, cylindrical, or square. The mechanized robot is planned for industrial use, but its soft grip and silicone construction allow for interactions with humans without fear of injury. Afference, a startup, has developed the Phantom Virtual Reality Gloves, providing hands-free tactile sensations while playing computer games. The gloves connect via Bluetooth to a PC, gaming console, or smartphone. Each finger wears a special ring connected to a single module on the outside. When the user touches objects in the virtual world with their finger, the ring reacts, reproducing sensations identical to those felt in the real world. This could be tingling, buzzing, or pressure. The brain perceives it as actual touch. This enables replicating the sensation of pressing a button, picking up a fruit, shooting a laser from the finger, and other actions without physically holding anything. The Solaptera car will be the world's first solar-powered vehicle to appear en masse on public roads. It is expected to be popular among residents of Florida and California where the sun shines brightly. Most cars are 3D printed from carbon fiber, eliminating the need for a large factory like Tesla's. Solaptera can be manufactured in a small factory of up to 10,000 square feet. Moreover, the factory can be relocated to Canada, China, and other places where there is demand for the product. This technology also enables easy production of spare parts, which the company promises to ship upon request within 24 hours anywhere in the world. Already, 46,000 buyers have registered, and the car's price ranges from $26,000 to $44,000. In China, they've started producing an extension module for Ford F-150 pickups and other models, expanding comfort during camping trips. The Safari Camper weighs 550 pounds and fits into the pickup truck bed, without exceeding the height of the cabin. There's a rooftop rack for gear or bicycles. Thanks to metal unfolding brackets and hydraulic cylinders, the module transforms into a two-story tent. Launching it is as easy as pressing a button on the remote. The second floor provides a 270-degree view through mesh windows with a roof hatch for stargazing. Tarp awnings on the sides create a covered area for barbecuing or fishing. The lower tent has lower ceiling height, making it suitable for children. A 30-watt solar panel powers LED lighting and the lifting system's battery. Inventor Jean-Yves Blondeau has developed the Rollerman suit for extreme sports. The suit features 32 rollers, including the traditional four on the feet, along with those on the knees, chest, back, elbows, and palms. Made of durable aeroplastic, it attaches to the body with adjustable straps and allows sliding on asphalt using different body parts at speeds of up to 55 miles per hour. The inventor set a record descending from China's Qianmen Mountain in 19 minutes in the skier, sometimes reaching speeds of 78 miles per hour. Jean-Yves Blondeau takes orders for making suits, a process that takes about two months and costs $6,800. The suit has become so popular that characters with similar gear have appeared in movies. For cycling enthusiasts, a convenient bike transport system has been introduced. Unlike regular roof-mounted bike racks, this rack is located behind the car. A special tray for mounting the bike lowers and raises to the desired height, powered by a motor so you don't have to do it manually. This makes post-ride or workout tasks easier. Made of lightweight and sturdy aluminum, the system can hold two bikes and fits in any car. When not in use, the trays can be compactly folded. Loading itself takes up to 30 seconds, and according to developers, the battery charge lasts for more than 50 cycles of lowering and raising bikes. 
Steambow has unveiled a lightweight tactical crossbow with a six-arrow magazine. Unlike traditional crossbows, the AR6 Stinger II model doesn't require significant effort to cock the string and release the arrow. A special mechanism has been developed for this purpose. After firing, you simply need to bend the lever to ready the crossbow again. This takes just a few seconds and requires minimal effort. Accurate shooting can be done from a distance of up to 25 meters. The crossbow can be customized with various sights and accessories. Developers recommend it for sports shooting, hunting small game and pests, and even for self-defense. American company Northrop Grumman has developed an unmanned combat aircraft. It is equipped with autonomous intelligent control systems. The flight trajectory is pre-programmed and the flight itself can be remotely controlled by a mission operator. The drone is equipped with advanced target detection systems on land or water. It can fly at an altitude of 40,000 feet and has an aerial refueling system. The tailless shape of the aircraft is designed for low visibility requirements. Its weapons bay can hold up to 4,500 pounds of weaponry. Excellent results have already been obtained from the drone's tests. Thanks to powerful jet engines, it has demonstrated high maneuverability and flight speed. It can be used for reconnaissance, identifying various enemy targets, and carrying out combat missions. If you enjoy quick city travel and avoiding traffic jams, this latest O-Barter D5 electric scooter is perfect for you. It features a futuristic design with lighting and a sturdy construction. The scooter is equipped with thick 12-inch tires and a reliable suspension system. They provide a comfortable ride on any road, whether cobblestone or off-road in the park. Thanks to LED turn signals, riding such a scooter on busy roads will be safer. The scooter also has a display that shows speed, battery charge, and other useful information. With a powerful dual motor, it can accelerate up to 43 miles per hour. A unique cylindrical drone called Spirit has been developed in the USA. It can take off from any type of terrain and is capable of carrying cargo and delivering it to any desired location. Additionally, it can operate in challenging weather or technological conditions. For example, Spirit can easily perform its task in rain, snowfall, or during a sandstorm. It is not afraid of smoke screens either. The drone can carry up to 10 pounds of payload and reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. The modularity of the drone allows for the installation of additional batteries, cameras, sensors, and other useful devices. This makes it a highly convenient and reliable tool for various tasks and services. The GoCycle G4 is a foldable electric bike that rides just like its full-size counterparts. Its hydroformed aluminum frame, 20-inch magnesium wheels, as well as excellent fit and finish give it a futuristic look, making it stand out on the road. The battery can be charged using a port on the frame. The battery itself is removable, so it can be quickly replaced. The bike has a dedicated mobile app which controls the bike, for instance, switching riding modes or adjust trip settings, and can help you track your rides. Such a bike is perfect for city commuting, fitness, and cycling trips. Amo Yatsibiza has unveiled a new yacht with luxurious interiors akin to VIP apartments. Only three copies of this trimaran have been created. They decided to remove the deck and cabin in the usual sense. As a result, the yacht now resembles an apartment more. Everything necessary for living and relaxation is provided in its interior. A comfortable kitchen, exquisite Italian furniture, and a ceiling height of up to 3 meters. The interior design is done in a loft style. The rear part of the yacht opens up and a large platform with loungers descends into the water for swimming. The yacht is equipped with powerful solar panels and two wind turbines can also be installed. All winches, locking systems, mainsail and jib halyard are operated electronically. Thanks to this, the control becomes very simple. 
allowing its owner to fully enjoy their leisure time. Hicks Moving Company introduced the self-driving modular robo-vehicle that can transform into a gym, library, cafe, and much more. The creators of this transport offered a new concept of urban mobility, where passengers can access various services and create a comfortable space for relaxation, work, or education. The vehicles were designed using artificial intelligence algorithms, giving them a futuristic look. They can accommodate up to six passengers depending on the configuration. Modularity allows for quick changing the interior of the vehicle such as replacing the workspace with a beauty salon or turning the vehicle into a mobile cinema. For safe travel, the vehicle is equipped with a multitude of sensors and cameras. This transport concept can diversify any trip and efficiently use time on the road. Steinadler Pro is something between an electric scooter and a quad bike. Thanks to its powerful engine and lithium-ion battery, it can accelerate up to 53 miles per hour. The off-roader is suitable for extreme trips through deserts, forests, or other challenging terrains, and the driver stands on a large and sturdy platform. Four wide wheels provide maximum traction. It is also easy to maneuver within the city. Additionally, there are configurations with the option of installing a seat. The quad bike can be used to transport cargo with a trailer. Therefore, it is perfect for extreme sports, travel, and fast riding enthusiasts. Now, let's take a little break from transportation and look at a smart cane that makes calls and tracks your activity. It will be especially useful for elderly people. With the press of a button on this device, you can contact a loved one or call emergency services. The handle has a built-in screen that displays notifications from your phone, the number of steps taken, as well as the time. Also, thanks to GPS, you can both track your routes and quickly locate a person if necessary. In addition, the cane is lightweight, comfortable, and has an elegant appearance. Farmers are gradually moving away from using chemicals and machinery that pollute the environment. Making crop care eco-friendly is being facilitated by Robot One. It's equipped with 14 high-resolution cameras and uses cloud technologies to instantly identify plants. The robot can move autonomously around the plantation and remove weeds, plant new crops and perform other tasks. Using certain settings, you can designate an area for the robot to care for plants. One such robot works like five people. Its roof-mounted solar panels provide electricity, which is then stored in lithium batteries. The use of such robots can eliminate heavy human labor and the use of herbicides in plant cultivation. We talked about the eHang Air Taxi in 2016 when it was first introduced to the public. And now, eight years later, it will officially go on sale. The aircraft has already undergone tests and received all necessary licenses. Sales will start in April in China. The first such aircraft were sold by eHang to corporate clients as tourist transport. The Air Taxi can transport passengers up to 18 miles on a single battery charge. Its speed can reach 80 miles per hour. For retail buyers, the aircraft will cost $332,000. Sikorsky and Boeing have unveiled the new Defiant X helicopter, which will replace the U.S. Army's UH-60. The new helicopter has improved its heat dissipation system, reducing its thermal signature. This makes it less noticeable to enemy sensors and a more complex target for heat-seeking missiles. Designers have improved the landing gear by adding a nose wheel for greater stability during landing and improved the helicopter's aerodynamics, making it more maneuverable. Developers also assure that their helicopter model does not require significant investment in infrastructure, as existing runways and hangars can be used to store equipment. To meet the Army's needs, the new helicopter must be able to transport at least 12 fully equipped soldiers and reach speeds of 264 miles per hour. 
This device will be used in a home workshop. The Blaster Sander Sandblaster does not require the use of a bulky air compressor like other similar tools. It is pushed out by a high-speed rotating ceramic disc. This tool can be used to remove old paint or rust from various surfaces, from wood to metal. The Blaster Sander has hand protection and the ability to adjust the speed and amount of abrasive feed, depending on the material of the surface to be processed. Sand or any other abrasive is loaded onto its top container. The device is powered by a standard outlet, so it can be easily used even at home. Which invention impressed you the most? Write about it in the comments below the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all the latest innovations. Stay tuned for the world of technology and innovation with us.